would rest in her mother's arms, surrounded by a few wooden toys and masks she'd crafted for her. I'm guessing that's the mask, the rabbit mask that she wears. Drifting up to sleep with stories and lullabies, she dreamed happy dreams, ignorant of the events that would soon change everything. Anna and her mother was stalking a great elk through the woods. They knew it was dangerous prey, but it had to, it had a lot, but it had been a particularly difficult winter, so they were almost out of food. The spectre of starvation frightened them more than any forest creature without warning. The elk reared, reared, bellowed, and charged to Anna. She was paralyzed with fear as the whole world seemed to shake under the intense beast's pounding hooves. The elk was close enough for Anna to see the murderous, fu murder, murderous fury in its eyes when her mother threw herself in, herself in its path, axe in hand. A blood-curdling scream escaped from her lips as the elk impaled her upon its antlers and hoisted her into the air. With all her strength, she brought her axe down on its head again and again, while it tried to shake her loose with a sickening crack. The antlers snapped, and Anna's mother was free. The beast collapsed. Collapsed. Anna was too small to move her mother's broken body, so she sat with her in the clearing where she had fallen to distract her from the dying elk's cries. Anna's mother held her and hummed her favorite lullaby. They stayed like that, the huntress and the elk getting quieter and colder until Anna was alone in the silent forest. Eventually, she stood up and started the long walk back home. Still a child, she knew just enough about life in the forest and forest to survive. She followed her instincts and became one with the wild. With the wild. She got older and stronger and practiced her hunt as she grew into a dangerous predator whose humanity became a half remembered dream. She widened her territory and lived off her hunts. She worked her way up through squirrels and hares and mink and foxes. Eventually, she grew tired of them and hunted more dangerous animals like wolves and bears. When unsuspectingly, no, unsuspecting, when unsuspecting travelers came through her woods, she discovered her new favorite prey, humans, unlucky souls who strayed into her territory, were slaughtered like any other animal. She liked to collect their tools and colorful garments, and especially toys, when they were little ones, but she could never bring herself to kill the little girls. Girls she would take back to her house deep in the woods. They were precious and looking at them woke up something deep in her heart. She craved the closeness of her loved one, a child of her own, among the pillaged wooden toys, dolls and storybooks she couldn't read. Yeah. The girls would be tied by the neck with a rough and chafing rope fastened firmly to the wall. She couldn't let them wander off, or they would surely die outside. This is 100% gonna get taken down, but oh well. Every time the girls would waste away and die of cold, cold or, starvation or starvation or sickness, every time it plunged Anna deeper into pain and sorrow and madness, she was compelled to try again and started raiding the nearest villages to slaughter families and kidnap their daughters. She wore one of the animal's masks, her mother, one of the animal, animal masks her mother crafted her so many years earlier to try and calm the frightened children. The villagers spread the legend of the of a half-beast half beast lurking in red forest, the huntress who killed men and ate little girls. War eventually came to the forest. German soldiers began to pass through on the march to attack the collapsing Russian Empire. During these dark times, there were no more travelers. The villagers had abandoned their homes and no more little ones to be found. Only soldiers 
Many of them were found with violent axe wounds. Whole groups disappeared mysteriously. Once the war was over, the rumors of the hunters disappeared with it, engulfed in the red forest by the red forest. So yeah, very interesting stuff. I like reading this stuff, but this is gonna get taken down 100 percent I hope I don't get like reprimanded for it. But oh well, um yeah, if you guys want me to read the rest of these killers backstories, I can do that if you guys want me to. Um just let me know. So yeah, um I hope you're having a good night, day or morning, whatever time it is for you. I hope you're doing okay. Bye guys. Bye guys, bye guys. Bye guys.